Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Camp Aspinall. And we have an exciting one for you today. It's about five o'clock in the morning and we're about to get this party started. Let's go. Hello world, Brian here again. This week we've spent a few days underpainting the garage slab floor. A year ago we picked up an abandoned garage that's off grid and we're currently turning it into a cabin on the lake. In fact, done this twice now. Well, we I mean, we started it twice. We haven't finished a single one. We're starting projects that we don't finish. We're currently building two garage cabins on the lake. We live in one. And in order to put a second story on the top of the garage, we had to pour a foundation underground to support the load of the second story. Well, let's head over there now and see how the cement cured. Be another routine. Coffee! So that content's for you. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, join one of the membership tiers down below, and maybe buy some coffee. Hi, can I have a large cappuccino, please? No, thank you. Okay. Get it, please. Thank you. Good, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> thank you, see you soon. Somebody went through the front of the weed store. Somebody drove their vehicle right through the front door of the weed store. Well, that's something you don't see every day, huh? Where are you going? Okay, now you're just messing with me. Pretty birds. It's never a dull moment at the lake, I tell ya. Go safe, off road, home, you. They weren't Canada geese. <laughs> we are passing through one of Canada's most southern mainland communities. I say mainland because Pelee Island is about an hour offshore by ferry ride. Don't blink, you might miss it. Go on, Zach. I came out here to test the video, to test the sea dews for a video and I paid to launch them right here and then I killed the battery and it was incredibly embarrassing and there were people around and I was trying to film solo inaugural sea dew launch and I... I killed the battery and it wouldn't start so we're on our way home to get another battery. The stuff you don't see off camera, I tell you. <laughs> okay, to the cab. Good morning, gorgeous. You're beautiful. Two Sea Dew videos did make it live last week. Go check them out. If you'd like to come for a visit, check out this brand new hotel. The first one in the area. How oh, freaking cool and retro is that? Huh? I think there's like 15 rooms and each room has its own theme and no two rooms are the same and you can come and hang out at Canada's most southern beaches. Hello, gorgeous. Look at, look at the dirt. <laughs> That's what happens when you dig holes. Alright, we're here. Good morning. We're gonna go check on the concrete. Let me give you a tour of the upstairs. Because this roof line is going to change. Welcome to paradise, situated on a hundred foot wide lot. And we're cutting this roof off and building a giant apartment upstairs. Oh yes, look at this. Can you even believe I am walking on an underpinned foundation? So in order to put a second story up, 
we had to structurally reinforce this thing underground. The building sits on a 24 inch slab floor and that's not enough. So says the structural engineer. All kidding aside, uh, we had to pour a four foot foundation underground and underpin it to the existing slab by doing it in sections. Check those videos out. Because going up isn't enough, we're going out four feet at the back. I can't remember how close or how far it needs to be from the property line at the rear. 25 feet seems to ring a bell. Whatever it is, that's the spot right there, as far back as we were allowed to go. So we're increasing the footprint four feet out the back, and then we're going upstairs. Going upstairs. We're putting on new stairs and putting on a second story, and there's gonna be two bathrooms in this thing. It's gonna be a steep pitch with a dormer out here and a bathroom on this side upstairs, as well as downstairs. Doesn't that look sharp though? Come on, it's exciting, right? Oh. The building's 25 feet wide, so you do the math. Come out four feet by 25 feet long. It's a good sized little addition on a little 500 square foot footprint downstairs. And we figured out where the services are going to go. This place is currently off grid. Well, I mean, there's hydro, but there's one plug that we installed. So we're gonna run the municipal water in and wastewater out. And we're gonna go from here straight back because eventually we'll develop this side yard too. At least that's the goal. Common question we get asked, how? How do you do this? How can you afford to do this? When you buy vacant land, banks don't often lend you money because that structure is not legally livable. It was considered vacant land. Burst strategy for the win, buy, Renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. In other words, when this one's about 90% complete, we can then borrow money against it to build next door. So we've been using one to fund the next. And for my coder friends, stick that in a loop. That's my life. The projects keep getting bigger and so do the profit gaps. Another gorgeous sunrise on the lake. Look at it. Boy, the wind has certainly calmed down from yesterday, the last couple of videos. We can almost go sea doing out there. Almost. So you probably noticed in our videos, the main cabin uh, is a bit up on a hill on a cliff. So we have a giant dock out back. This one is situated on the sandy shores of Lake Erie's North Shore. Copy pee break. So there's gonna be a loft apartment upstairs with a bathroom sticking out here with a toilet and a shower. Directly below, another toilet and a bathtub downstairs adjacent to the kitchenette. Imagine that, eh? One plus one, two bathrooms at a tiny little 700 square foot cabin on Lake Gary's beautiful North Shore. In the middle of a housing crisis where nobody can afford anything. That is a part of why we do what we do. We enjoy bringing people to our community, but we also wanna code break, break codes against the housing crisis by trying to provide affordable housing in our own backyard. Sun's peeking up, 6.42 a.m. All right, it's time for a shower, but we're currently building a garage cabin, so we don't have a shower at home. To the gym. Garage life, it's a lifestyle change. One I would never trade. So we're finishing the shower upstairs, but as we complete that project, we shower at the gym, but it forces us to go every single day. Morning. It's still there. It's 
not gonna burn down. There's no services. <laughs> That's not funny. Well, when the municipality found out we were investing in our community, they decided to widen the road. So we're actually getting bike lanes on both sides of this road to support the tourism along Lake Erie's North Shore. Guys, I'm completely soaked. Went to hit the shower and realized I don't have a clean t-shirt. It's back to Walmart right next door. Thank goodness. Save me. Good morning. Maybe I'll just leave one in the back of the truck. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out of here. Gotta pay, gotta shower. Gotta find Steph, who's probably waiting. Maybe squeeze a sauna in. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ah, the simple life, my friends. Stop trading time for money. That's what we did. And for a while, we had less money than usual but way more time. Think about it. What's your number one currency? Well, how did I beat her out? I'll never know. Ran to Walmart. But not one, but two shirts, <laughs> 10 bucks, and still beat Steph out. It's because I quit my workout early. Well, it's a rest day at the job site. Crew's working on a different job that had to wrap up and we're just letting that cement harden. The first part was done Friday. The second part was done Monday. It's currently Tuesday afternoon. So by Wednesday or Thursday, it should be completely solid to begin pulling the roof off the top. Well, the boys already started pulling the, the OSB roof sheeting down from the inside. There was a vaulted ceiling in the loft with insulation behind it. And the material's still fine. So boys are manually taking that down and then the roof system will go because we have new trusses coming. We're gonna put four new windows up in the loft, two, one in each dormer, one in each gable end, and then three new windows are going downstairs. Who are you talking to? I'm talking, I'm talking to them. Who are you talking to? Hold on, let me get the power locks. Hey, do you like my shirt? It's great. What did you just say? I'm impressed. I only wear black. <laughs> they only had yellow and white. So it was no <laughs> shirt or yellow shirt. <laughs> You're both outside. You used your door. Hi, Stevie. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Hi, Tom. Yo, tell the fine friends at home to subscribe and like. Hey Stevie, and Tom. Wow, gorgeous.
Well guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, I hope to see you again. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the build projects over here at camp. As always, peace and love from Canada's most southern mainland shoreline. Give somebody close to you a hug, tell them they matter. Don't forget, you matter. Live tiny, dream big. Catch you on the next one. Wait, you know the drill. We'll see you again soon.